Hi, this tutorial is to show you how you can use game image to pack your Windows games into a single app image file. This allows you to do additional configuration in advance if you have, let's say, an older Windows game that needs a 32-bit prefix or some extra Wine DLL overrides. You can make sure you have all that set, you pack it into the app image file, and you can't inadvertently change that app image's Wine configuration later on while trying to get other games working. So it just keeps it nice and safe in a single file. Also makes backups and copying it to other platforms incredibly easy because you just have one file and maybe a folder if you care about your saves to actually worry about. Now I'll be going through creating these app image files on a Linux desktop, although this should also be possible directly on the Steam Deck uh, desktop view as well uh, in case you don't have a Linux desktop available. To begin, you'll want to go to the Game Image GitLab, which will be linked to you in the description. Hover over Deployments and click on Releases. And download the GameImage.app image file here. Save that wherever you'd like, I just have that in my Documents folder for now. And at the same time, also create a folder in that same directory for your game. So create a folder, name it whatever you'd like. This is for Need for Speed Most Wanted in my example. Within that folder, create two subfolders, one for the game's icon, Steam Grid DB can be a good resource for these, and the other is going to be for the game itself, the ROM directory. Now what you place here may differ depending on the game. If your game has an installation process, drop those installation or setup files right here, making sure that the setup.exe file or whatever it may be is in the ROM directory and not in some other subfolder. In my case, my game does not need to be installed. I already have everything set up how it needs to be with the executable right here. Just put these in like this. It's gonna require a little bit of a different step later on, but I'll get to that uh, when we get there. Now to begin creating our app image file, we're gonna go back to the directory with our game image executable here and go ahead and open a terminal. The command we'll be running can be found on the game image GitLab page. If we scroll down far enough, we'll find our wine example right here and we'll be looking at this command. So to start off, we're gonna run our gameimage.appimage file. If it doesn't let you uh, run this, you might have to right click the file and mark it as executable, as that might be disabled by default. So after our game image file name, we're gonna specify a platform, which in this case is going to be wine. Then the name, which doesn't really matter, so I'm just gonna call it NFS Most Wanted. And then lastly, the directory for our game, which is in the same directory here. So we're going to do most wanted. Once we click enter, that's going to go ahead and start the process. Uh, you probably won't have this pop up on your system, so you can ignore that for my example. This can take a little while, so I'm going to go ahead and edit this out of the video, but just let it run and you'll see the next step momentarily. All right, the first choice you're going to be given is choosing an architecture, 32-bit or 64-bit. Uh, depending on the game, you might need to go with 32-bit, but for my example case, 64 works fine, so I'm going to select option 2. The next option you'll be given is for wine tricks. In this case, I don't need anything uh, out of wine tricks, so I'm just going to press enter to skip that step. And then we get our wine options, and this is where we do want to do a couple things here. Now, for my game, I do need to open wine CFG, so we can add a couple wine DLL overrides. So once I enter that, it's going to take just a moment to load. If your game doesn't need any Wine DLL overrides or you don't have to change anything here, uh, you can skip this part. Once we have our Wine configuration options open, we're going to click on Libraries, and I'm just going to add the override I need for my game here, dinput8, and we'll go ahead and click OK there. That's going to bring us back to our Wine prompt, so our next step here is installing our game. Uh, you can ignore the terminal window scrolling past that here, you can still enter text. Now, if your game needs to be installed, this is where you're actually just going to point it directly to that installation file. So you're gonna go slash home, slash username, slash documents, etc. until you get to your setup.exe file right here. But in my case, I don't need to install my game. So instead, I'm going to open that most wanted folder, go to ROM, I'm gonna copy my files here, go into the build folder that this process has been creating, after app wine, drive C, program files, in this case I'm not sure if it matters too much which program files, I'm gonna choose x86 because I know that works for me, and we're just gonna paste that right here. And actually, don't do that, create a folder for the game first. NFS most wanted, 
and let's paste those there. So at this point, it's still waiting for my wine prompt. I'm not going to do anything extra, so I'm just going to click enter. It's then going to ask me what exe file is going to be the game's executable. So I'm going to find that speed.exe there. That's option 9. So I'm going to choose 9 there. After we select our executable, we have a chance to make changes to the app run file. I don't need to do that in this case, so I'm just going to press enter to skip that step. It's then going to basically wrap up the entire process and start creating our app image file. If we go back to the build directory, we're going to see it starts creating that right here. And after a moment, it should be done. There we go. So at this point, with the process done, this file is all we need to worry about. Again, you might need to mark this as executable, but you don't need to worry about these here. If we double click the app image file, again, you probably don't have this prompt on your system, but I'm just going to run it. The first time you open the app image file, it's going to go through this wine setup process. That's fine. It'll be much faster the next time you launch it. And there we go. That's our game running. At this point, this file is all we need, so I'm going to rename it to something a little bit more recognizable. And now we can copy this file to our Steam Deck. Now in the case of the Steam Deck, after you copy it to whatever directory you'd like, right click that app image file, open properties and then permissions, and make sure is executable is checked. The last step now is going to Steam, adding a non-Steam game, click on Browse, and then change the directory to wherever you're storing your app image files. You will have to change the file type to all files in order to see the app image file type here. Click on your app image, click open, and then you can select add selected programs at the end to add it to Steam. At that point you're all set, you can go in, change the name in Steam, and add custom artwork, but since I've already done that in my case, I'm just going to leave that there.